Tomorrow it is. God dang it! <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> you said that I say it was in Germany, man. <laughs> Mrs. Sanders, a uh, um, spring 2015 graduate of the Southern University. She's going to be joining an alumni family with the rest of us wonderful Jaguars out here. So um, real quick, tell me, um, what does it feel like to be, um, you're about to become an alumni of the Southern University. Tell me, what does that feel like? It's really an honoring feeling because Southern University is one of the best historic black, black colleges. Um, and it's, I just feel honored. It's a great achievement. That's great. That's great. So um, tell me, um, What's some experience? Tell me what you've, what you've experienced here at Southern University. What made you come to Southern University that you can tell to other future um, SU alums to come here? Well, one thing that made me come to Southern University is the family-oriented feel that you get here, and HBCU is a feeling like no other. You truly get the HBCU experience, and you can't get it anywhere else. Southern is a place to get it. That's great. So, um, if you can change one thing about Southern University to just enhance our student-oriented feel and make them feel more at home and more relaxed, what's one thing that you think we can change here? One thing that I feel like we can change at this university is being a little bit more um, in unity with each other, reaching out and being more... I have a surprise for you. Turn around.
10, a big surprise for a family attending tonight's Admirals game. Yona Govino joins us now with the unexpected outcome. Shannon, his two teenage sons thought they were being honored as hometown heroes. They've made plenty of sacrifices and moved nine different times wherever their dad was stationed. Little did they know their own hero was waiting backstage to surprise them. Andros and John Gabriziak have grown up a lot in the year their dad John has been deployed. He's in the Army and serves in the South Pacific. But all of a sudden, he was right behind them. A big hug from his mom, and then his wife of 22 years, Valerie. It was just so amazing to finally see him in person. You know, we see him on Skype, we see him, you know, in pictures, and it's just like, oh, he's here, I can touch, I can actually hug him again, and that's wonderful. It's a homecoming surprise about a month in the making. John only told Valerie about it two days ago. She's like, what do you mean you're coming home? Aren't you still in Guam? And I was like, um, no. <laughs> It was a nerve-wracking day that started at 6 a.m. Flew to Dallas, plane was delayed there for about an hour, flew to Kansas City, and then I finally made it here about 4 o'clock this afternoon. His wife says she's just as proud of her boys as she is of John. During this deployment, it was really hard. I had medical issues and whatnot, and they had to just, you know, step in there and help. And for now, the family is looking forward to getting away, maybe a trip to the Mall of America. And the boys say they also want to show off their dad to their classmates at school. Shannon. Oh, it gives you chills. I'm glad they're reunited. Thank you, Yona. Okay. Who's that? Cheese. All right, I got it. <laughs> huh? You don't think so? Good job, girlfriend. Right. You got on video too. Oh, Are you still good? Yeah. That does not appear. Good lover, I know how it feels. Oh, look at Matt. Matt did it. 
Matt didn't know either, did he? My phone is going. She has it. Oh, I don't know. A titi que llegó. She's a fucking jerk, isn't she? <laughs> She's a jerk! <laughs> she cries! <laughs> 